All right, ladies and gentlemen, another day and just another modern game out here doing scummy ass modern gaming shit. It's incredible to me. It's absolutely amazing to me. Like there is a lot of people out here with a functioning brain and it's really good to see. I actually just made this video for you guys and I went through a bunch of tweets and comments and everything else, but I screwed up on the recording. So now we, we have to do it again and we're just going to congest it with this one because I just I ain't got the time to go through all that and make the same type of video again. And honestly, I just, I don't even want to at this point. The amount of brain rot I seen is ridiculous. Like I said, there is people out here with a functioning brain and they are pissed off about what's going on here with Apex Legends today. But there is a whole lot of people. Like I, let me show you the, this, this one tweet. I had a bunch here that were golden. Let me show you this one reply to Charles Intel's post where he actually seems proud. Keshav over there at Charlie Intel. Apex Legends has a new battle pass system that has two battle passes per season that you can only buy with in real life money for up to $40 in total. Call of Duty's Black Cell is selling so well. Listen to him, man. Listen to Keshav. There is, like, dude, it's not just Call of Duty, though. There is so many cringy ass beta male, just straight up nerds out here for these games soldiering for these games listen to these words man call of duty's black cell is selling so well like he's happy about it man is am i tripping or is it like is he proud of it it's selling so well now it's influencing other games and he tags alpha intel apex intel listen i know i'm not uh, an apex channel but what they're doing today could definitely rub off on Call of Duty. We already know what I'm about to tell you guys. Call of Duty's going to be doing the same shit. Call of Duty's going to be splitting up the Black Cell Battle Pass. They're going to be splitting into two two battle passes per season, and each one of them are going to cost $30 each in a full price game. And a full price game that also monetizes their game like a free to play mobile game. And we might see X Defiant trying this bullshit. Listen, I'll tell you what, even though I'm. I'm out here preaching soldier for X Defiant just because of their matchmaking alone. There's a lot of things in X Defiant that get on my damn nerves, which is why I don't play the game every single day. But I still soldier for the game because I think they're out here trying to do something good and we're trying to get what they're doing to rub off on some of these other companies. But even with that no skill based matchmaking, if X Defiant tries this bullshit that Apex is doing right now, I'm out. I wash my hands. I'm done. That's it. I'm done with X Defiant if they pull this garbage. But before we get into the Apex, let me show you this reply real quick to Charlie Intel's tweet. This from Ovo Saddam. And I seen a few replies like this under this tweet. So it's not just this dude, but just his choice of words here just really kind of <laughs> it spoke to me, I guess, on a I don't know, on some type of level this is down there somewhere. Yeah. Anyways, Ovo Saddam. Saddam, whatever. He goes on to say the dopamine hit I get from buying Black Cell is so addicting. Not from playing the game. You know, that full price game that we all buy to play to get that dopamine. He doesn't get the dopamine from the actual fucking game. He gets the dopamine for buying a battle pass for operator skins in a first person shooter and skins for his weapons, digital items in a first person shooter. He doesn't get a dopamine hit from the game. He gets a dopamine hit from buying something that costs half the price of what he paid for the full fucking game. You can't make this shit up, man. And I checked to see if he's trolling. No, this dude is legit. This dude is legit fucking super fanboy. He's out here simping all day, every day. This man firmly presses his cheeks up against that screen every single fucking day for daddy Activision with no lube. And he's proud of it. And he wants the world to know that he's proud of it no shame in his game he loves this shit he goes on to say even the sound it makes when i make the purchase is satisfying and that's a, that's like a fucking casino man they, they put a lot they invest a lot of money into that a lot of research into that just to feed on very weak-minded soft beta male virgin nerds like this cat right here that that's all it is and it works it works for all these beta males that don't have to work for their own money or they just have money to burn unless they got an inheritance. They got mommy and daddy's credit card. Whatever it is, it works. These these motherfuckers, these nerds like this dude right here, they got money to burn. And this is where they're comfortable burning it, man. They're comfortable 
bending over for a daddy Activision. He goes on to say, sometimes I just like to stare at my bundle locker and look at all the cool black cell I've bought. W black cell, W black cell, everyone buy black cell. And at the time of recording this, this tweet has seven likes on it though, man. You, you can't make this shit up, dude. There's, there's so many simp, virgin, geek, nerds out here on the socials like they just dude they don't have a functioning brain when they get a little bit older maybe the brain will mature a little bit and they might like but like we're in most cases we're talking about grown men here this is most likely a grown ass man just very immature very stupid with his money don't have to work for his money and he's a virgin he's got nothing going on in his life except for the video games so he thinks like there's a lot of people out here that just think you have to spend this type of money also to keep these games afloat. Like these games will die unless you're buying all the black cells and you're buying all the bundles and the, the stupidly overpriced complete rip off bundles in the store with cringy ass skins and a first person shooter. They think that you have to spend this type of money in order to keep these games alive. These idiots are so fucking stupid. Just look back at the OG CODs. In the OG CODs, we never had none of this shit all those games were thriving like the game the franchise became a fucking juggernaut the franchise made money we didn't have none of this cringy ass shit we didn't have none of these micro transactions macro transactions whatever you want to call them because when we're talking about 20 and 30 dollar bundles it really ain't micro at that point but any of this extra dlc shit we didn't we had dlc map packs man that's it we had the the game the dlc map packs and up until black ops 2 that's when we started to get little micro packs where you could buy camos for your gun with calling cards and shit for two bucks which in my opinion is worth it they make a little extra money and you get a little extra camo something sexy for your gun something you actually see unlike your operator skin in the first person shooter all those og cods just a full price game you got the completed game everybody was happy and these nerds they really got these nerds mind fucked they have them bred into believing that they need to keep spending this type of money to keep these games going they're just lost, clueless, virgin little nerds. People like this Ovo nerd or some of these other weird geeks that I'm seeing in replies talking about how Black Cell is great for gaming. We need this to make sure that we have top tier, god tier, S tier content in these games. I mean, newsflash, man. The S tier content still ain't here. They're taking all your money, all this extra money for shit that we never asked for. They're taking features away from you that we had that we loved in the past. They're not bringing it back until they can use it as a selling point for a future game because they got to release a game every single fucking year. Newsflash, you little sheep. Y'all are the problem with gaming today. Y'all are the reason modern gaming is the way it is. But anyways, I really don't want to read this shit from Apex. You pretty much got the gist from Charlie Intel. Or maybe I'll read just a little. I'm not going to read everything. I'm not going to break down. Every, like, they try to add a whole bunch of shit in there to try to justify try to fluff it up butter it up make it look better like oh we're we're doing this for the customer we're doing this for the players we're doing this for the people we ain't doing this to line our pockets it's we're, we're looking out for you there's a whole lot of that in here i'm not going to read a lot of this shit but i'll guess i'll break it down a little bit more for you guys so apex legends on twitter starting with season 22 we're evolving the apex legends battle pass to improve your experience and progression goals they got a little infographic there as well as some bullet points if you actually go to the link. Battle Pass now available per split was one per season. Players can earn the first premium Battle Pass during the first two weeks of Season 22. The first, they got to keep that FOMO there too, right? The first two weeks of Season 22. You better get on the goddamn game or else, you know, FOMO, man. It's all about that fucking FOMO cheese. Rewards from past battle passes that frequently weren't being used have been removed. What a spit in the face. What a kick in the fucking balls for anybody who purchased with real money. Let's say they tried the game out. They bought the battle pass because they didn't have any in-game currency at the time. They had to buy it with real cash. What a spit in the fucking face. So straight up telling you here, we put shit in that battle pass that we knew you weren't going to use. It was just 
filler bullshit just trying to meet quotas you know the greedy bullshit that we got to deal with with these modern companies it's just filler nonsense that they knew people weren't going to like so now they're trying to make it seem like all right so we're splitting the battle pass into two you can no longer buy it with apex coins i guess that's what it called ac that's what it stands for apex coins you can no longer buy battle passes with the in-game currency you can only buy it with cash starting at 9.99 us dollars and the premium plus is 19.99 we're used to be able to buy one for 950 apex coins and the premium for 2800 apex coins it's straight up cash they're trying to make it seem like they're doing you a favor i'm not interested in reading any more of this garbage this is straight up scummy like you you can't i know it's a free to play game they got a lot of fucking bullshit over there too like call of duty because they're a free to play game this game makes an insane amount of money even though i hear from a lot of people that it's dying because y'all got so many cheaters over there. <laughs> we all know how you feel, man. We know about them cheaters over there in the Kakadooki. We know about these cheaters over here in X Defiant as well, too. Apparently, you guys got cheaters just running wild in your game. And instead of fixing that problem first, they're worried about taking you for more money, trying to make it look like they're doing you a favor with the battle pass and i guarantee you now they're up to 60 tiers per battle pass so it's 120 tiers in total per season i guarantee you you will probably see it improved for like this season maybe one or two seasons that's it it's going to go right back to the same old bullshit the only difference is now you can't use your apex coins now you have to buy it with cash and now it costs more money i made a few videos on this at this point talking about how much i hate battle passes and it just seems like every single one of these games chasing that fortnite bag chasing that fortnite money every single game they got to implement a bitch ass fucking battle pass and for some of these games it don't even fit like for a game like destiny yeah i think a battle pass actually fits that game some of these games that don't even fit the fucking game but it's in there anyways and you got these weak sheep by gobbling all this shit up just knob gobbling this shit i'm surprised i haven't seen any fucking virgins out here asking for a more expensive one like where, where's the 40 dollars, 60 dollars one we we need one of those joints uh it's just it i'm over it bro this is unacceptable and i can promise you this is going to bleed over into some of the other games that we're playing but that's all i got for this one let me know what you guys think in the comment section i hope you enjoyed the video i'll talk to you on the next one